This 60 meter tall figure dominates the southwest landscape. But for this giant to look good from above, he needs a touch up down here. We're undertaking a programme of rechalking him, um, which we lasted in 2008. Um, and over time, sort of the, the plants and the weeds sort of grow over his outline a little bit, and the chalk looks a little bit less white than it ever did. Um, so it comes a point where we go, right, he needs to freshen up, and that's what we're here today doing. Volunteers will work over the next fortnight to get the chalk figure back to its previous best. The first job is to dig out all the old rock before hammering in 17 tonnes of new locally sourced chalk. And the origin of the giant is shrouded in mystery. Theories range from aiding fertility to homage to the Greek god Hercules. Hundreds of years on, an opinion still remains divided on what it's actually supposed to be. I was always brought up to believe it was to do with fertility. Um, it's what my mum and my nan used to tell me when we come to see it. The idea of that it's satire is really great because the English are great at satire. It's a caricature of someone. You know, like um, there was a, a prank or a feud or something. It's just massive. When you first see it, you're like, what is that? It looks like a gingerbread man. Good guesswork, but that's all it is, with even the experts stumped by it. And it could well be that none of the theories that are put forward at the moment is right. He's as old as you want him to be. The fact that we don't know that he is an enigma, I think that adds to the mystery and to the interest that we, that we have in him today. Well, whatever it is, it's here to stay. The National Trust will be marking 100 years of owning the giant next year. And it's a cause for celebration. Where else in the world can claim to have a naked figure armed with a massive club on this scale? Only in the UK. Ryan Rangobin, 5 News.